Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I love absolutely everything creative. Today I have my air dry clay with me, so please join me. I absolutely love air dry clay projects and I would like to make some to go outside or in the garden. So in this video I'm going to make my air dry clay sculpture waterproof. My air dry clay angel wings were sitting on the mantelpiece and sadly they fell from the top there down to the bottom. And so this little piece did actually snap off so I am simply going to attach it back on with just a dot of really strong super glue. In another video I'm going to go through the whole durability of air dry clay so I will address this a bit further then. First of all I've just taken the hangings and the ribbons off it so that we can try and waterproof it. So as I say I'm just going to fix this to begin with and then we can work on it. And you'll also see so that because there's been a break we can fix it and the waterproofing will still work. If you can find a polyurethane varnish, one that's meant for yachts, one that's meant for out, outdoor use, then that would be brilliant. Um, so mine's a polyurethane varnish. Um, you can get all sorts of different brands and different makes. So see what you can find. Unfortunately this one is a little yellow. Um, you can get clear ones. So if you've got a white item that you need to make sure that stays white, then do get a clear one rather than a yellowy one like this which will yellow the clay slightly. On this piece there's lots of intricate sections, lots of bits where the water could get in so it's a good one for me to show you as an example but of course yours might just be flat and so it'll be easier to work with. You want to work on a non-porous surface so you, if you haven't got a tile or a piece of glass or plastic you can just, just use a piece of plastic like this um, paper holder here and just make sure you use an old paintbrush. We're just simply going to start off with a nice thin coat making sure we get in all the little gaps. Push the varnish right in and we're going to seal it this way with one coat just on the top to begin with and then we will let that dry and then once it's fully dry we can then turn it over. It probably would be best if you use some gloves at this stage. I just chose to hold on to it there with a pair of scissors. So do the same with all pieces. If you've got several pieces just try and do them all at the same time if you can and then we're just going to set that and leave it to dry. I've let that dry for several hours now, you see it's the evening here now and it's slightly tacky underneath and it just has pulled off a little bit of the acrylic paint. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, I've actually coated two coats of white acrylic paint over my fully dry air dry clay. I'm just going to seal over that with um, some of the varnish. So I recommend next time we're going to prop it up on something so it doesn't fully stick down onto the board. And so just give it a nice thin coat because several thinner coats are far better. So as you see there, a little bit of the paint has come away again. If I was too worried about it, I could just go ahead and give it another coat of acrylic paint first and let it dry but it'll be fine just coated over with the varnish. Prop the pieces up on something non-porous to dry so that they're not stuck to that film below. Try and make sure that you do do thin coats because as you can see here it pulled a little bit on the back of the heart there so I went a little bit thick with the varnish there so if you do it thinner this won't happen and it won't pull. Both sides have now had one full coat of varnish, it's fully dry and it's really starting to feel quite sealed. But I'm going to go on again and do another couple of coats so that we've had three coats all together just because I want it really to be withstand the weather because I'm going to put this outside. Because this is an oil based varnish you do want to make sure you wash your brush well but I actually have a little trick, I don't know whether you're really supposed to do this but I always get a 
piece of plastic of any kind or a little plastic bag and just really seal like this the brush into it and then I just leave it under the tin to dry, to, um, not to dry, that's what you don't want it to dry out and just leave it under the tin until um, I'm ready to use it again. Um, in two or three hours because this one only takes two or three hours to dry between and so I can keep the brush from having to keep washing it out. That's my little tip for the brush. But then once you finish the full project make sure you wash your brush in what it says to on the tin. Continue coating your piece with another thin layer of varnish and get in all the cracks and we're going to set that to dry and as I say do two or three coats. I'm going to do three coats on this just to make sure it's absolutely sealed. So we're nearly there. Another thing to do if you're doing it inside make sure you keep the windows open and have a well ventilated area. This has now had three full coats of varnish front and back and it's looking lovely and glossy and shiny and really durable. So we're ready to test it and I can show you how watertight it really is. I'll just put the piece back together so that I'm ready to hang it up outside later. So as a reminder this has fully dried air dry clay then two coats of white acrylic paint and three coats of polyurethane varnish over the top of that dried in between each layer and so now I'm going to do an experiment where we take this piece and then a pin that I made which has just got two layers of acrylic paint on and then a bare piece of dried air dry clay which we expect when it gets wet to fall apart and so we'll see how the other two react when we soak them with water and then leave them for a few days outside. So here we go, I have a little squirter of water and I'm fairly confident in my polyurethane varnished. I'm really confident about that one but I'm not sure about the two pins that we have here. As you can see here, as I squirt the polyurethane one with um, the water, nice little droplets of water just appear on the surface and so they're not soaking in at all as expected and I'm just going to leave it to sit there in some water and then this is the one with two coats of acrylic paint and this is the blank plain air dry clay which we'd just expect to soak the water back up. So far I think the acrylic one doesn't seem to have any effect, it doesn't start bubbling it straight away, but it might do soon. So I'll leave them in this water just for now and come back in an hour and have a look how they've reacted. And then I'll leave them overnight and then I'll probably pop them out in the rain um, when we get some rain showers, which no doubt is very soon here in the UK. So it's been an hour now and the water droplets are just still sitting on the surface and they've not made any impact. And then on the two coats of acrylic paint, the same again, I'm quite surprised they've not started to bubble. But as expected, the blank one is starting to fall apart. So the pieces have been overnight in the water and the wings are looking perfect and fine and no issues there. With the acrylic paint one there's slight bubbles started to appear on the back and as expected the bare air dry clay is soft and pliable once again. And so off we go outside into the wet and the rain. So I've left those out in the rain and I'm going to grab myself a nice warm cup of coffee and leave them overnight. So they've been out all night long and it's been absolutely perfect weather to be doing this because it's been raining the whole entire night long. A huge puddle has formed and even the ducks have come to see what's going on. I'm going to collect up my clay pieces and bring them inside and take a good look at them. Here is the air dry clay with just the acrylic on, just two coats of acrylic paint and look how bendy it's gone again. 
so the moisture's got right in there and really kind of damaged it and will fall apart eventually and so with the clay wings they're still lovely and firm I'm just going to dry them off completely and then show you I'm absolutely thrilled how this piece is done in the rain it's showing no signs of wear so the test is maybe leave it out a year but I have confidence that this really will hold up in the weather and in the rain and that you can put it outside when you put polyurethane varnish on it. It's not bending and it's not going anywhere and even where it cracked and we fixed it it's not letting any moisture in so I'm really quite happy with that. The polyurethane varnish is certainly a winner if you plan on leaving something out for years and years, after every year I would tend to just um, take the piece in, dry it out and give it a full varnish all over again and keep repeating that as you need to. And I think we're on to a winner there and I look forward to putting this outside. I've got so many other clay videos for you to come and watch, the durability one and lots of different projects so please do subscribe if you found this useful and please do come and watch some more. Thank you for watching, bye for now.